My group's case study is on the TV show The Mighty Boosh. The Mighty Boosh is a British comedy written and starring comedians Julian Barrett and Noel Fielding. I think we worked well as a group because we divided up the work evenly and we each had our own responsibilities. So Sarah and I did the institutional things and um, George did the analysis of the actual clip. Um, both tasks were completed to a high standard and overall we explained well how the show is postmodern. The Mighty Boosh has many different features that make it postmodern, such as being based around celebrity culture, fashion and what we see in the media. The two main characters are constantly searching for fame via numerous occupations. The main character himself, Vince, is very postmodern, especially in the way he looks. The show is based completely on pop culture. However, there are times that high art is used and regenerated as pop culture. We see this throughout as Vince is, Vince is very much into pop culture and how it is based around high art. Throughout the series, we see the two come together and merge as one at some points. Another key postmodern feature in the show itself is self-reflectivity. This is apparent when Vince and Howard directly address the audience and reference the show whilst through doing this. They almost step out of the show and become part of the audience. This is done by introducing the show and sometimes even discussing events in the show. There is also bricolage within the show. This is because Noel Fielding plays Vince Noir as well as numerous smaller roles within the show. Therefore he's being used to create a range of different characters all within one show. This use of bricolage throughout allows the show to reference many different genres, from music videos to fantasy, romantic, comedy and also cartoons. Parody is included a lot within the show, as they often mimic previous creations. This can be very subtle for the audience and helps them to familiarise themselves with these scenarios that are being imitated. The audience then appreciate these scenes as they can relate to something and therefore gain more interest in the show in general. The show itself acts against modernism a lot, which in itself makes it postmodern. This is because postmodernism acts against logic and reasoning. The Mighty Boosh does this by making a surreal world that's very spontaneous and often has a very deep hidden meaning which is not obvious to everyone. Overall, I think The Mighty Boosh is a great case study as there are numerous different features that suggest to us it's postmodern. We also worked well as a team and everyone did their fair share of work.